Hello everybody, here is a little video to explain how to play the middle eight instrumental section uh, from the song Thunder by Imagine Dragons. The actual chords for this section of music are very challenging because they're all three finger chords. So I've created a little section that fits with it that's going to use the banjo style plucking starting with your index finger and then your thumb and it's just going to be on the top two strings. It's, there's four parts to it. The first part to play what we're going to play over the E minor chord is going to be your middle finger, finger number two, on the second fret of the A string. So that's going to sound like this. So I'm starting with my finger and then thumb. Let's do that together. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four. The next section, part two, is you're going to just play a C chord so your finger number three will go to fret number three on the A string which is what you would use to play for a C chord but again just playing the top two strings banjo style starting with the finger that'll sound like this let's do that together one two ready go Now let's put part one and part two together. We're going to play each chord for eight counts. So we're going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. Well, let's do that together. One, two, ready, and one. Next one, one. Let's go back and again. And again. So we're alternating between our second finger and third finger and that's part one and part two part three you're then going to put your index finger on the E string of the on the first fret so you've come from there and then you're going to put your index finger here same plucking pattern finger thumb in the right hand so that'll sound like this Let's do that together. So index finger on the E string, first fret. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, and again, four. One, two, three, keep going. One, two, three, four more time. One, two, three, four. So let's put all three parts together. Part one, middle finger on the second fret of the A string. Part two, Third finger on the, uh, the A string, uh, and then part three, index finger on the second fret of the E string. I'm still just using this finger thumb banjo style plucking. So eight counts of each one, here we go. One, two, ready, go. Next one, index finger. Now for the last bit, part four, we're going to keep our index finger here and we're going to put our ring finger, finger number three, back onto the place where we would have it for the C chord. So we're doing both of these notes at the same time. All right, and that's going to be the fourth part. So let's try that together, both fingers together. So finger number one is on fret number one on the E string. Finger number three is on fret number three of the A string. One, two, Ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Last time, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'll play all four parts together and then we'll have a little practice together. So part number one sounds like this. One. Part number two. Part number three. 
part number four. Then we go back and do it all again. One, two, three. However, the last time, we're then gonna put our two fingers into position to make the G7 chord on the very end. And that takes us back to the chorus. Let's try doing all of that together nice and slowly. So finger number two, your middle finger, is gonna go on fret number two to start with. One, get ready, two. One, two, ready, go. Part one, one. Next one. Two, part three, part four, back to the beginning, one, two, part three, this time make it into a G7 chord, and finishing on the C. Let's try that one more time, one, two, ready, go. Two, part three, add your third finger, part four, back to the beginning, part two, part three, G7. Finish on C chord. And that gets us into the, uh, the final chorus of the piece. Enjoy!